and after hours and hours of building, we finally finished the shelter that I'm gonna be staying in tonight. This is the stonefish, the most venomous and the deadliest fish in the world. So I'm just gonna pick them up and get you a bit of a better view. I think I timed them perfectly. Oh. Go explore this island a little bit. See if we can find any animals. And you won't believe what I saw sitting in the shallows. A big mud crab. That is beautiful, mate. We got ourselves dinner straight down into the coals there. Take a look at this. I cannot believe this on the beach. What's happening, everyone? Welcome back to another video. So we are literally the only ones on this beach right here. I woke up early this morning, jumped in my kayak, packed up all my gear, decided to paddle over here, and this is where I'm gonna be staying for the next night or so. Gonna be setting up a fire later on, cooking up a fish that we can hopefully catch, and pretty much just having a bit of fun. The first thing that we need to do is build a shelter, because if you have a look over behind us up there, there's a massive storm rolling in, and I think it's gonna rain tonight as well. I've got a fishing rod, a knife, a couple of other resources, but yeah, I reckon this is gonna be a really cool video. I've never done an overnight survival video where I've filmed on the beach by myself, so I'm pretty keen for that. But yeah, it's just starting to rain down on us at the moment, but I don't really care. I don't have any plans for the next two days, so we're just gonna roll with it, see what happens. But I reckon what we start doing now, before it starts pouring down, let's go collect some sticks and stuff. Let's collect as many resources as we can. Is a good big pile of them. So good, all this stuff's just been washed up on the beach and we're just gonna set up camp under that over there. So I just collected a heap of resources and this is where we're gonna build our shelter right now. So I think I'm just gonna get straight into it, try to smash this out, and then after that we'll try and catch some food for later on tonight. So I reckon we just snap some of these sticks up and start putting them up there. So at the moment, we're just grabbing all of these sticks and stacking them up, not only on top there, but around the sides, just like this. This is the first layer of the shelter. By the end of it, I'm hoping it to be fully waterproof. probably wouldn't believe me if I told you right now, but sitting in this frame right here is the world's deadliest fish. And I managed to spot him sitting on the sandbank right here. If you take a look just down in front of me right here, this is the stonefish, the most venomous and the deadliest fish in the world. Now, I have filmed heaps of stonefish in my previous videos, and I haven't seen one in a while, so to find one out in this sandbank right here is so cool. Look at him just buried right there. If you weren't looking really closely, you'd definitely stand on him. So I'm just gonna pick him up and get you a bit of a better view on this little fella. I'm gonna be extremely careful because we are out in the water here, and getting stung in a place like this is a big no-go. So I'll gently, put my hand underneath this animal and pick him up for you guys. Would you take a look at that right there? The saltwater stonefish. 
the estuary stonefish, also known as the most venomous fish in the world. That is so cool. What a way to start the morning. The most venomous fish in the world. That'll definitely get your morning going. Oh, look at him putting his spikes up like that. Oh, you can see that one over there. That is the reason why they're the most venomous fish in the world. They don't bite you to inject their venom or anything. If you apply downwards pressure on him, and it's so easy to do, you can see how well he was camouflaged out here. That venom will shoot into your body, and mate, you'll be in danger. You'll be in trouble. That'll be the worst pain you've ever felt in your life. Saying that, in a place like this, if I was to get stung, would I survive? Yes, I'd probably survive, but you wouldn't want to. You wouldn't think something as cute as this would put you in that much danger though, would you? One of my favorite animals, without a doubt. Now, we're not gonna let him go back in this area. We're gonna let him go in the deeper channel so that anyone who's walking around this area isn't gonna stand on him or anything. Let's keep going, that is so cool. Take a look at that little fella right there, the stonefish. Hopefully, without standing on another stonefish, we'll walk out here and release this guy into the deep. But what a beautiful creature. One of my favorite animals that I can come across with out here. All right, this is pretty deep water. All right, buddy, you are absolutely amazing. I'm gonna let you go out here, and I hope you catch some fish today, <laughs> feed up well, and I hope to see you soon as well. All right, there we go. building I got here at sunrise and I've only just finished now it's about midday at the moment we finally finished the shelter that I'm gonna be staying in tonight so if you come in this is the front right here as you can see we've got a fire pit just down here that's what I'm gonna cook up the fish in later and this right here is the entrance so I actually find this stuff so cool and I'm so keen to sleep in it tonight but yeah I might do a couple more adjustments or whatever but honestly what more could you want than this actually so good can just lie back out here the sun's gonna rise out that way in the morning and wake me up then we'll go on another adventure tomorrow it's got two entrances the one we just came in and then this little one out here and this is the other side of the shelter as you can see fully thatched up on the outside like that and if we come down here look at where we are <laughs> Boy. I do feel so blessed that I can come out here and do all this kind of stuff and not only just by myself but bring all of you along for the adventure. What we need to do now, now that we got that all sorted, is catch some food. What are we even going to try to catch? Go out there on the kayak? Well I've been fishing for a while and I haven't caught anything yet so I'm gonna head back in and check out the other side, but heading back in should be pretty interesting. I think I timed them perfectly. Oh. oh no! I think I timed it perfectly. That is what perfection looks like right there. Get this right, the one thing that I can't believe is that I went back out there to look if I dropped anything. I was like, no, nah, it's all good. Started to walk back in and I found my car keys out in the water there. <laughs> Another minute and they would have been gone in that surf right there, so that's pretty lucky. I still need to catch food. The wind has picked up so much. It's not even worth being out there at the moment. 
So what I'm thinking of doing is maybe going for a hunt in the shallows with my fishing rod and my bare hands and see what I can catch. Maybe a crab or something, we'll see what happens. been sitting around camp for a bit what I'm gonna do now is just go explore this island a little bit see if we can find any animals maybe some kangaroos or something but yeah let's go let's get into it So I decided to walk into these mud flats right here looking for something that I can catch, maybe with the fishing rod or even with my bare hands. I got the drone up in the air to look to see if there was any fish in this area and you won't believe what I saw sitting in the shallows. A big mud crab. Fingers crossed it's a male. I was looking on a small screen so I couldn't really tell the difference. I've pulled my kayak up here. He's sitting over there in the shallows and hopefully we can catch dinner. If not, if it's a female, it'll still be cool just to catch it and get it up close to the camera. Just sneaking up on him right now. Oh, would you look at that? That is a male for sure. That is a big mud crab. Oh my goodness. Look at him sitting right down there. That is going to be my dinner if I can get him in. I don't reckon he can escape or anything, so I think we've got a pretty good chance at this one. All right. I was a bit annoyed that we couldn't catch food before with the fishing rod, but this just makes it 10 times better. All right. Let's feel down. And there we go. Oh, take a look at that right there. A massive male mud crab out in the mud flats. And that right there is going to be my dinner. Oh, nearly got my finger right then. Wow. What a beauty, that is absolutely awesome that I can come out to these places and actually do this. What even is going on? It's been a couple months since I actually caught some big mud crabs, so it's good to get one again out in the mud flats here in Australia while camping on this island overnight. This is gonna be so cool to chuck in the fire back at my camp, oh my God. Let's put the camera down and get some shots of him. These are one of my favorite animals to catch, and it's been such a cool day so far, not only seeing that stonefish early this morning, building that shelter, catching this big mud crab, and now we're gonna go back to camp, cook it up, and sleep there tonight, baby. Oh, every single time that I get the camera out and start to film a video, things just happen, man. That's why I love going out and doing it so much. That's why I love bringing all of you guys along for the adventure. Yeah, so what's next? What kind of videos would you guys like to see next? I've got endless opportunities, can travel around Australia at the moment. So let me know if you live in a part of Australia and are doing cool stuff, maybe we can link up sometime and film some videos. I definitely need to organize a trip up north soon with one of my mates to film some crocodiles. They're out at the moment. The reason why I'm wearing this thing is because it is so hot at the moment. I'm so sunburnt. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to my shelter, chill out for a bit, collect some firewood and get in that shade. It's actually really nice sitting under there. That is beautiful, mate. We got ourselves dinner. We're not going hungry tonight. All right, let's get back to the shelter. Oh my God, we got one. Filled this up with water. We'll crack them in. Oh, oh, get in there. Look at that. Got a whole pocket full of shells. Let's go decorate the hut. Just 
And would you take a look at that right there? Got the fire going on the beach. I'm so keen to cook up this mud crab. And there's the big muddy that we're gonna cook up in a second. We're just waiting for the fire to die down to coals. And then we'll chuck this big fella in and cook him whole. That'll be so good. He's gonna taste great as well. All right, we'll pick up the big muddy and we'll drop it straight down into the coals there. Just like that. Look at that big fella. She's ready. Let's take her out, go down to the water and eat her. What a day it has been so far. That is probably one of the coolest videos I've ever filmed. We got this mud crab as a bit of a reward. Damn. All right, and take a look at that. Here we go. After not eating anything all day, this tastes so good. I got sand all over it, but I don't really care. This guy was literally swimming around like a couple hours ago. You cannot get any fresher than that. I just wanted to say, if you watch this far into the video, you're a dead set legend. And um, yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you for everything. Thank you for allowing me to do all this kind of stuff. Clocked on early this morning and built a shelter and decorated it with shells as my job. It's a hard life eating mud crab for a living. I do genuinely appreciate it and I just wanted to thank you guys for that. Always reading and responding to the comments and everything. Let's finish off this mud crab and then get camp ready for tonight. I was just eating my mud crab and I hear something up here and take a look at this. Take a look at this, oh my goodness. I cannot believe this on the beach. That right there is the Australian echidna. Would you take a look at that? That is absolutely crazy. I've been wanting to film one of these guys for so long. Been looking for them for ages. So what he's doing right now is his defense mechanism. See all these spikes on the top right here? What they are, they're not actually spikes, they're modified hairs. The same material that our fingernails are made out of. And he's just burying in there. And you think about it, say a guana wanted to try eat him. Say a wild dog wanted to try and eat him. He just buries in the ground. What's the wild dog gonna do? What's the guana gonna do? They're gonna do nothing. They can't do anything because of all those spikes. Now the amazing thing about this species is it's known as a monotreme. Now there's only two monotremes that we have here in Australia and what they are, are egg laying mammals. These guys will actually lay eggs just like a snake. The other one that we have here is the platypus, which is another beautiful species that I would love to come in contact with. So what I'm gonna do now He's buried himself at the moment, but I'm just gonna back away, gonna stop getting near him and see if he comes out for a wander. Right, oh my goodness. You're kidding. Look at those magnificent spines coming around the back there. Where are you going, mate? I see you. It's all right. Look at that. Going for a slide. Back down into the hole you were in before, buddy. You're having another dig in there. You're all right, mate. What are you doing? Oh, my goodness. This is one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had with an animal alone, let alone an echidna. What are you trying to do, buddy? You're gonna burrow into my leg, are you? 
Yep, that's exactly what he's going to do. I don't think anyone will truly understand how crazy it is for me to find an echidna like this because I've been looking for them for so long. I've been wanting to film a video with one and it's almost like I kind of let it go and then all of a sudden this guy comes to me. He's come out a couple times but as soon as I put the camera on him he's a bit shy and he goes back down and digs another hole. I was just saying how much of an awesome day it's been and this just tops it off. This makes this probably one of my favorite videos that I've ever filmed. You don't even understand how blessed we are in Australia here to have awesome animals like this, let alone be able to encounter one on an island. Probably can't even see him anymore. An echidna, a monotreme. I finally got one on video again. The last time I filmed one of these guys, it would have been years ago. I haven't seen one in so long. It's good to see that they're out again. They're an endangered species. You can't touch them. You can't pick them up or anything, but it's so cool just to watch them in their natural habitat doing their own thing. I'm gonna let this fella be. As much as I would love to just sit here with him all night, I don't wanna disturb him too much. Every time I put the camera on him, he seems to dig another hole, wait a couple minutes and then come back out. So I think he wants to go out and look for some ants to eat tonight. So I'm gonna head back over to my camp, let this awesome animal and this awesome experience be, and just, yeah, go back to camp. I'm lost for words right now, but that is really, that is really magical. Thank you, mate. I like love echidnas so much. It's literally been years since I've seen one. It's a bit too windy tonight to have a fire. I would love to have one out the front here, but I don't want any of this stuff here to catch on fire and then me wake up in the middle of the night and have to do something about it. It's not even that cold at the moment though. I got a jumper. I got some other stuff in my bag that I can put on, so. I think I should be right here. Every Saturday or Sunday is when I post, so make sure you stay tuned for that if you like this kind of stuff. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get an early night's sleep. I'm so tired. But yeah, this has been really cool. I'll set my alarm just before sunrise so we can get up and watch that sun come up, get into a new day. All right, night everyone, see you then. All right, good morning everyone. So it is currently day two. It's about 6.30, 6.28 in the morning at the moment. And the sun is literally just coming up. And would you take a look at that right there? The sun is literally just popping up over the horizon. This is such a beautiful morning to wake up to. And we got a whole other adventure planned for today. I don't even know what I'm gonna do yet. Hopefully try to actually go get some stuff on the fishing rod. All right, let me get a shot of that sun coming up real quick. Now, I was hearing a couple things coming past my camp really early this morning before the sun came up, before there was any light. And I came out here and there's actually kangaroo tracks, which is really cool to see that there's kangaroos and other animals over here. But yeah, not a bad way to start the day. Just a daffodil day